Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be sharing my summer TBR. I mentioned recently that I am no longer doing monthly TBRs and instead I'm gonna be focusing on seasonal TBRs. So this is gonna be for summer for the months of June, July, and August. So the way that this TBR is going to work, I am going to share some upcoming book releases that are coming out in the summer that I am super excited about. I'm also going to talk about any book club books that I will be reading as well as readathons that I'm going to be participating in and some books that I would like to read for those and then I am going to pick out prompts from my TBR jar which you guys would be familiar with from my monthly TBRs. This is a jar full of challenges and prompts that I used to use to help me select my monthly TBRs but now I will be using this for my seasonal TBRs. So for those of you who were sad that I was no longer doing TBR videos because you love the jar challenges, we're still doing them. So let's talk about five new releases that are coming out this summer that I am so excited for. The first one is called Basil and Oregano by Melissa Capriglone, and this one comes out on June 6th. It's a graphic novel that just sounds so, so cute. Listen to this. It says that mix two parts Great British Bake Off with one part Magical Boarding School plus a generous dash of romance. It looks so cute. I believe it's a sapphic graphic novel about a school for the art of cooking with magic and these two girls who fall in love with each other. It looks adorable. I'm so excited for this one. The next one is Silver Nitrate by Silvia Moreno Garcia. This one comes out on July 18th and I'm so excited for this one. I loved Mexican Gothic so I've been wanting to read another book by Silvia Moreno Garcia and this one sounds totally up my alley. It's about a horror movie that was cursed. So it says it's a meld of Mexican horror movies and Nazi occultism. It's a dark thriller about a curse that haunts a legendary lost film. This director was filming this horror movie and never finished it and believes that he was cursed because he never finished the movie. So now he's tasking the two main characters to help him shoot the missing scene and lift the curse. It sounds so good. I love books that are like inspired or referenced or are about horror movies so I feel like this one could be really good. The next one is The Deep Sky by Yumi Katase. This one also comes out on July 18th and it is a sci-fi thriller and it says that it is about a deep mission into space that begins with a lethal explosion that leaves the survivors questioning the loyalty of the crew and I don't need to know anything else about it. I love sci-fi horror, sci-fi thrillers so this one sounds totally up my alley. The next one is The Narrow by Kate Alice Marshall. This one comes out on August 1st, and it is the fourth YA horror book from Kate Alice Marshall, who is one of my favorite authors. I love her YA horror. I read her adult thriller that came out recently, and I did not like that. So I think I'm just going to stick with her YA horror books because those are my favorites. All I know about this one is that it is about a haunted boarding school and a ghost that is known to be haunting the school. At this point, I don't really like to know too much about Kate Alice Marshall's horror books because you Usually they are so much crazier than even the synopsis will let on and there's like the synopsis is like 1% of what's actually happening in the book so I don't even really bother reading the synopsis for her books but I'm so excited for this one. And then the last summer book release that I cannot wait for is Thornhedge by T. King Fisher. This is her next fantasy book and this one comes out on August 15th and I'm so excited for this one. You guys know T. King Fisher is my ride or die, my favorite author and I think that I even love her fantasy stuff more than her horror stuff. This one says that it is a tale of a kind-hearted toad-shaped heroine, a gentle knight, and a mission gone completely sideways. Based on the cover, it's kind of given me like sleeping beauty vibes, but maybe with some sort of twist, which I'm totally here for because I love the um, Beauty and the Beast retelling that T. King Fisher did, so I would totally be down for another retelling. Okay, now let's move on to the book club books that I will be reading this summer. First up, we have the book for my book club in June. This is my Patreon book club, and we are going to be reading Silver Under Nightfall by Rin Shapeko, which I'm so excited for. This is a vampire fantasy book that I've just heard amazing things about, and basically what I do with my Patreon book club is I make everyone read books that I want to read slash that I'm intimidated by, and I need 
a push to read. <laughs> and one of my goals this year is to read long books. And this one is quite chunky. So I'm excited to read this with my patrons. Also in June, I am going to be one of the co-hosts for the Literature Book Club, which is hosted by Steph Loves. I will link her channel down below. In June, we're going to be reading Twisted Love by Anna Huang, who I, I've already read this book, but I read it as an arc. And I've always wanted to go back and reread it as an audiobook. We will be reading that in June and doing a live show and discussion for it. And then in August, I'm going to be one of the co-hosts for the Lights Out Book Club, which is hosted by Sav from the channel Riveting Reads. I will link her down below as well. And in August, we're going to be reading Night's Edge by Liz Karen, which this is a vampire horror book that sounds really, really good. I'm so excited to read this. I believe that it comes out at the end of June, but we're going to be reading it in August and also doing a discussion for that. Okay, now for readathons. The only readathon that I know 100% that I'm participating in this summer, other than my own Patreon readathon, is Summerween, which is hosted by Gabby Reads. I'm so excited for this round of Summerween. It's one of my favorite readathons. And last year I had so much fun vlogging it. And Gabby's sister was so nice and sent me all of these Summerween stickers that are so adorable. Their merch for this round is just so freaking cute obsessed like oh my god look at this cute so i don't know yet what my full summerween tbr is gonna be i think i'm gonna do the same thing i did last year and just like pull off all of the horror books that i have on my tbr and kind of mood read from those the challenges this year are pretty basic i feel like i could make all of them work however there are two books that i definitely want to prioritize they're both translated horror books which one of my goals this year is to read more translated fiction so i have two translated horror books that i really want to read the first one is tender is the flesh by Agustin. Basarica. This is a very disturbing sounding horror book about human meat markets. I'm kind of terrified of it, but I've heard that it is really great, really disturbing, really scary, so I'm excited to read that. And then the other one is a book that I haven't heard of, but one of my patrons kindly gifted it to me and it sounds so good and that is Hex by Thomas Old Hulvelt. This one is about a town that is haunted by the Black Rock Witch, a 17th century woman whose eyes and mouth are sewn shut. Muzzled, she walks the streets and enters homes at will. She stands next to children's bed for nights on end. That sounds terrifying. I'm so excited for that. So yeah, those are the two books that I for sure want to read for Summerween. Please let me know in the comments if you have any other translated horror book recommendations for me. I think the only other one I have on my TBR is Our Share of Night, which I will not be reading during Summerween because that book is very, very long. If you have any other recommendations, please leave them in the comments. Okay, now it is time for the TBR jar challenges. I think I'm only going to pick three jar challenges, one for each month. First up, we have a, ooh, a fantasy. The jar is working in my favor because I am in such a fantasy mood lately. And I think I know exactly what I wanna pick for this. I don't have it with me, but it is Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. This is like a cozy Regency fantasy with Faye and it's been recommended to me a lot. And I feel like I have to read this as soon as possible because one, my friend Sarah keeps telling me to read it. And every time she tells me, I'm like, yeah, I will read it soon. And then I never do. But then also, because Kayla read this book because of me <laughs> and I think she gave it five stars and I like I still have not read it which just feels wrong all right challenge number two is going to be ooh, a book over 500 pages which is perfect because another one of my goals for this year is to read one big book a month and I'm already ahead of schedule I mean I could just pick Silver Under Nightfall, but for the sake of this TBR, I do want to pick something else. Ooh, you know what? I really want to read this. Let's do A Taste of Golden Iron by Alexander Rollin. I heard really good things about that book. It sounds so good. It says it's a queer central romance that unfolds in a fantasy world reminiscent of the Ottoman Empire. One more jar challenge. Let's pick from the bottom and go all the way down. Pick something from down here. And ooh, I picked sapphic, which is perfect because I have so many sapphic books on my TBR right now. Now I just have to decide which one to pick. This is perfect because I forgot to mention, I also let my patrons pick out a book for me to read every month. And for June, they picked 
Big Swiss by Den Begin, and this is a sapphic book. It's about this woman who transcribes sex therapy sessions and then she becomes obsessed with one of the new clients or one of the new patients, which she refers to as Big Swiss. And she like tries to position herself in that woman's life and it sounds wild and crazy and I'm so excited to read this. So that is my summer TBR. I definitely feel like this summer for me, the vibe is like fun, crazy, exciting books. I wanna read a lot of like thrillers and fantasy and romance and just books that like are super entertaining and like a good fun time. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe and consider checking out my Patreon where I post tons of exclusive content like readathons, weekly reading sprints, a book club and discussion, a private discord server, and tons of exclusive videos you can only find on Patreon. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!